One development uh, expert calls it the most transformative project in America. Where is it? Well, this is the Dayton, Ohio Arcade. Once on sale on eBay even, it's getting new life thanks to a number of Cincinnati companies now. Evan Millward has covered this effort, believe it or not, to save the arcade for 14 years. He shows us the transformation and a unique discovery. We call this the most emotional building in Dayton, Ohio. It was the gem of the gem city. Built between 1902 and 1904, it was downtown's retail and restaurant hub. I compare that to the Finley Market in regards to it's the same thing as the farmer's market to start with, the same concepts. And look, everybody cherishes the Finley Market in Cincinnati. It's the same thing here. It was almost a no-brainer then for OTR-based model group to be part of bringing it back. We really want to help Dayton turn things around. Despite being on the National Register of Historic Places since 1975, the arcade was once listed on eBay, looked at to be torn down for scrap. It hasn't been used since the holidays of the early 90s. It's probably in the top two of the toughest projects I've done in 43 years. Decades of decay have taken their toll. It was a nightmare. Nelson Stark Company plumbing superintendent Boyd Williams grew up in Trenton. He got more than his name from his dad. I knew my father and my uh, father-in-law worked there back in the late 80s. Imagine his surprise finding an almost untouched office with their time card sitting on a desk in the arcade basement. You can see the 8-1-89 date and my father-in-law is the top hater back and second to the bottom with my father's name. I'm the third so there's Boyd Williams. B. Williams. There were plenty of surprises. Every time we took a wall down, every time we opened up something, it was a problem. Nine buildings, all different but connected. They managed to keep some terrazzo floors, some wood ones, and these details around the rotunda. Most of the space is now the hub, a business incubator with UD and Sinclair students. 126 apartments are about to open. A bar is going in on the first floor. It is a mixed use development. First floor vi vibrancy is key. It's not just the inside. They've had to restore several facades too. They're still working on this one. The last time I was at the arcade was in 2007 as a newspaper reporter covering the effort to save it. This is what the North Arcade looks like today. It's in dire need of getting refurbished, Please but don't. we're ready to attack that. This will become a kitchen incubator and fresh food market. Think Findlay Kitchen and OTR plus retail and a hotel or more apartments. This is one of the keystones to get revitalization downtown. Because it is one of a kind. At the end of the day, you know, what's your value proposition? What makes Dayton different from Cincinnati, Cincinnati different from Northern Kentucky? A lot of it's that history. In downtown Dayton. And the history is like right behind us. I'm Evan Millward, WCPO 9 News.